So I take a lot of passion in who I am as a person. As you hear, as this podcast gets going and going and going, what you're going to do is you're going to transform me from this guy right now that's kind of chilled out in this room, David Goggins, to Goggins. And I had to invent this person. David Goggins is an introverted, um, soft kid that got beat up growing up and mindset had, had to lie to create friends, to get friends, to be accepted. So um, my, my life has really been about two people. Very scary, but two people. I had to invent a whole other human being to get outside of my comfort zone. And that human being became Goggins. Goggins is like the guy that walks out of the out of the phone booth. He's like that Superman that walks out of the phone booth. And I was talking to my fiance today about it. It's kind of strange how sometimes I have a conversation between David Goggins and Goggins. And Goggins would tell David Goggins about the shit he's done. And David Goggins like, what the hell, man? Why are you doing that? That's nuts. So it's, it's kind of this battle between trying to find more of yourself, knowing that the real you is afraid, likes comfort, likes living in a world that is a, that likes to pat you on the back, give you the things that you want to hear, not the things that you have to hear to get better. So that's where all this kind of started from. And when people hear this podcast, they're going to hear a lot of things that they're going to want to put a title on me. They're going to definitely want to put a title on me to make themselves feel better. I asked them during this podcast, do not do that. Do not look at what you're going to hear. Put a title on me because basically what you're doing is you're giving yourself a get out of jail free card. That's all you're doing. That's all you're doing is saying this guy was some super freak who found some super thing in his brain that was locked up. He unleashed it and became this guy. It's a fucking lie. Because every day I wake up, I dread the day. I dread the day of what I'm going to bring on myself to get better. Goggins appeared and disappeared several times. Um, it appeared the first time when I was 17 when I gained about 125 pounds. I went to, from 175 to 300 pounds almost. And lowest part of my life, I was in a fucked up relationship. I was making no money. I was spraying for cockroaches and all this stuff was just coming on me. And I was like, I have to find something. And I, Goggins came out. Like through all my insecurities, all my fears, all my doubts, all my introverted ways. I used to stutter real bad. Everything I did, I had to find strength in that. And that's kind of where it happened. About 24 years old. You know, I was sitting on the couch, saw this show on Discovery Channel. And that started the process of, I think I want to be a Navy SEAL. So I started calling up different recruiters, walking into some. Some guy said to me, you're fat and you're black. He was an observant motherfucker. You know, 300 yeah. pounds, <laughs> black guy walking. He was very observant. So that kind of went on for a while and, um, until I met one recruiter. And one recruiter saw something in me that no one else saw and gave me a shot and gave me a shot. So basically I walked in. I had about three months, a little less than three months to lose 106 pounds. So I was like, this is fucking impossible, man. I can't do that. And at that time, I had no real drive to be a Navy SEAL, to be anything. I just knew something had to change. That I, I had to, that this isn't gonna work, man. That this lifestyle that I'm living, something has to change. So I went to work that day and I was spraying for cockroaches and lo and behold, it's a very bad day at work. I found a whole bunch of cockroaches, rodents, it was a bad restaurant. And I came home. I quit my job that day. I was driving home. I said, I got I to fucking do something. And I said, I'm going to go home and run four miles. And four miles only a quarter mile. And then from there, the story really begins. Well, I understand it. It's a miserable place. I can, like, now that I'm going there, now you have me. I'm, I'm living on that couch right now with a milkshake in my hand, thinking about how the fuck am I going to pull this off? But well, that's what I realized for myself was I wanted that comfort zone that everybody looks for, that pat on the back. They don't want to hear all the bad shit. They want to hear everything that they're doing right. And I realized that's what kept me in this world. That's what kept me in this world of not accomplishing anything. So what I did was I became that big, bad, nasty motherfucker that you don't want to walk into at nighttime.